Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we're going to run through the May June 2022 POB Pass paper. We're looking at paper one today from the May June 2022 exams. And so the community came to read this one. I was on the hunt for this paper, and someone emailed it to me. So, shout out to you who emailed the paper to me so that we can share with the rest of the community. Now, before we jump into it, remember that we compiled a booklet with a number of past papers and the solutions, the 2019, 2020, 2021, the January 2022, and the May-June 2023, and the January 2023. The, they are in one booklet along with the solutions at the back of the booklet. And so you can purchase this booklet online for uh, 10 US dollars. All you have to do, click one of the videos, and then you look Welcome. into the description right here look in the description and you click this link and it takes you to the storefront where you can add it to the cart and proceed to purchase that booklet as if you're interested all right but if not you can always watch the videos and get the same solutions right here so let's just jump into this one right quick so number one one feature of a free market system is that and the best answer here is c producers are allowed to supply what the consumers want a free market system remember with, with the other systems like the planned economy and those things the government supplies all of these things with the mix it's a combination of government and the private sector so the free market is the one that has the that allows the producers to be the main persons are the main entity that supplies these things number two private enterprises is one mainly to of course we all know what a business is all about people start business to make a profit and so it is to create profits that's the main main reason persons would start a business number three the policies of a company are usually formulated by the be the directors right the board of directors are normally the ones who help to formulate the the policies of a company and then the managers will be the one who help to carry out those policies so the main ones are set by the directors they normally set the direction of the company number four which of the following types of businesses and business environment is most typical of the commonwealth caribbean so we're saying the uh, they're asking us basically what kind of economic system is most typical in the commonwealth caribbean and of course we know it is b mixed economy most of the commonwealth caribbean are part of a, has a mixed economy uh in the caribbean on a whole you have cuba that is centrally planned so it's not part of the commonwealth but in the caribbean on a whole cuba is centrally planned number five which of the following are advantages of a sole trader and so we have one ease of setup Two, profits are not shared. And three, flexible working hours. So the best answer is all of them. When you're a sole trader, you run your own business and it's relatively easy to set up. You, you don't need much paperwork to do that. The profits are not shared because you're the only one who owns that company, that business. So you keep all the profits for yourself. Of course, that's an advantage. And to some extent, you have flexible working hours in the sense that you own the business, you open and close when you feel like. But of course, it's to your detriment if you choose to close more than you open, but you still have the right to do whatever you want to do. It's your company. Number six, the management team of Scooter Motor has discovered that the productivity levels of workers have fallen. The team met and without consulting the workers, took a decision to shorten the coffee break and lunch period. What leadership style has the management team utilized in making its decision? I mean, this is a very weird decision. I mean, you're telling me productivity has fallen and so your option is to shorten the lunch hour? That's crazy, right? So, yeah, so the best answer is, of course, autocratic in the sense that the persons who are affected by the decision, they had no say in anything, in any, any part of it. The team as a unit came together and just made that decision. Now, how the team went about it might be different because if you look at the team dynamic, you might say, Within the team, it might have been democratic. So all the team members came and voted and said, okay, let's go with that. 
But we're talking about the, the management team as a unit. And as a unit, it was an autocratic decision. Because I'm pretty sure that in those autocratic countries, the, like for example in China, they have a whole communist party. And so the party, members of the party make decisions, but the party as a whole carries out autocratic leadership style for the country as a whole. Number seven, in a business, the term span of control refers to a number of, the number of, so span of control refers to how many subordinates each supervisor has control of. So let's say you're one supervisor, if you have like five persons, that's the span of control, those five persons. So D, the subordinates for which a supervisor is responsible. So the amount of sub subordinates you're responsible for a supervisor, that is your span of control. Number eight, the main purpose of installing a suggestion box in a company is to get workers' views on ways of improving the workplace. That's one way you can get the views of the workers on improving the workplace. All those other options don't speak to why you are need a suggestion box. Because we don't care about other companies. I mean, workers might not know what's going on over there. Um, with improving the kind of conditions, that's above the scope of the workers. So the best part is, the best answer is C. Number nine, which of the following is not an activity in the planning process? So we have A, setting goals, B, establishing policies, C, identifying resources, and D, delegating responsibilities. So the best answer for this one is B, establishing policies. That's not a part of the planning process. Setting goals, of course, you have to set your goals when you're planning. Then you have to identify how you are going to achieve these goals using whatever resources. And then you're going to delegate responsibility of persons to getting these goals accomplished. So the best answer here is B, establishing policies is not an activity in the planning process. Number 10, which of the following is a form of industrial action in which trade unions are most likely to ask workers to participate? And so we're looking at A, the best answer, work to rule, because that's where all members of the, of the trade union decided to go to work and just be rigid and stiff and just do everything by the books. To kind of slow down the process, slow down the productivity, slow down the overall working process. The rest three, uh, arbitration, bargaining, and mediation, those are normally done by the higher ups in the in the trade union, the executives, the president, etc. etc. Number 11. Which of the following is not a function of management? Not a function of management. Of course, you know, controlling is a function of management, delegating is a function of management. Coordinating is a function of management, but determining investment options for employees, that is not a um, function of management. And so the answer is D right there. Number 15, which of the following is a regulatory requirement for an, entrep for an entrepreneur? And so we're talking about regula regulatory, we're talking about rules and laws passed down by the, the, the government that the businesses must follow. And so the best answer is C pay national insurance to the government so the business has to pay that is it's mandatory that's part of the law so they have to pay it number 13 the condensed version of a business plan is contained in the also condensed mean a shortened form of the business plan and so that would be the executive summary the executive summary give you an outline of what the entire business plan would contain so that's a number 14 an analysis of the viability of a business idea and an examination of the different aspects of operating a business is known as a feasibility study. So once we're talking about viability, so that's C, feasibility study. Once we're talking about viability, we're looking at if whether or not the business can be successful. Number 15, cash used to secure a loan at the bank is referred, referred to as... Of course, that one is collateral. So that's A, collateral. Number 16, an entrepreneur may reduce his risk of loss by planning ahead. Because you know you have to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. We know that whole, that whole adage. So planning is one of the ways in which you can reduce your risk of loss. You have to put, I mean, people talk about entrepreneurship as taking risk, but you know, it's more like a calculated risk. Like you, actually, you actually have to plan these things. You can't just up and just do things willy-nilly. Right, so number 17, 
the monthly payments made to an insurance company by its policyholders are known as the premiums right so every time you pay your insurance company whether it is annually or monthly what you're paying is called a premium number 18 the principle of insurance where individuals would be compensated for damages or losses incurred is referred to as a indemnity a indemnity number 19 a purchase order is a D document offering to buy goods remember you can always go and check the lecture videos for more in-depth explanation of all these topics that we're covering in the past papers keep keep in mind of that number 20 which of the following factors prevent an agreement from being considered a valid contract the answer is C misrepresentation so if you found that there's some form of misrepresentation then that can prevent the contract from being viewed as a as valid where right? it can be voided 21 which of the following is an example of an extra, of the extractive production so primary production so you have b agriculture because that involves the use of raw materials producing raw materials that that is used for other endeavors 22 which of the following is not a linkage industry so we have a fishing and farming because both of them are primary so they're on the same level but others like for example we have b agriculture and tourism one is a uh, primary and one would be more tertiary so that's where you can link the primary to the tertiary or uh, even d lumber and boat building the lumber would be primary and the boat building would be secondary so those would be linked number 23 the Caribbean in the Caribbean, many people are hired for sugarcane farming and very little equipment is used. This industry can best be described as a labor intensive because they're using more labor than any other factor of production, such as capital. It's more labor driven. 24. Productivity can be measured by C output over input. That's the formula for productivity. Output over inputs. 25. Labor is best defined as A. The physical and mental capabilities used to perform a task. Right? Labor is both the physical and the mental and or the mental effort used in production. Number 26. Which of the following activities is most likely undertaken in a cottage, cottage industry? So let's say most likely. And so you choose the best answer. Right? So the best answer is C. Making some, you know, them sugar cakes. Now, people might say repairing computer, you can, you can do that from your house, yes. Uh, bottling of soft drinks, you can do that from your house, yes. But it's a most likely. And so, you'll see more. Somebody might have a computer shop, repair shop. Somebody might have a plant to do the soft drinks. But for sugar cake, on that small niche level, you do that in the kitchen. And you put them in wherever bags are plastic. So, it's more C. 27. Which of the following are examples of fixed capital? That's capital that is not used up during production. So the best answer is C, the plant and the machinery. They remain put after production. Sure, it might have some depreciation, but that's not what we're talking about in this case. Number 28. The producers of poor drink created an advertisement which promoted their drink as being superior to energy, energy plus drink produced by another business. This type of advertising is referred to as, so the best answer is competitive or comparative advertising where you're trying to show the difference between your product and someone else's. So that's D. Number 29. Rich Chocolates Limited erected a tent in several supermarkets for the purpose of exhibiting all the company's products. This activity is referred to, referred to as C. Merchandising. Right, merchandise and sharing all that you have to offer in various outlets. Number 30, which of the following operations is an example of sales promotion? And the best answer is B, free sampling. Give them a little taste and hopefully they like it and they come back for more so you increase your sales. Number 31, which of the following are functions of packaging? One, protects the product. Two, preserves the product. Three, promotes the product. And of course, the best answer is D, all of the above, one, two, and three. Number 32, in marketing, 
a market is best described as so what is a market it be a situation where buyers and sellers interact situation another place a situation 33 john john has sought permission to prevent the local art gallery from reproducing and selling his paintings this legal me this legal means of protecting his work is referred to as a so we're talking about intellectual property so we're saying copyright see copyright number 34 which of the following factors is least likely to influence consumer behavior and so we have d place of residence because we know right now no matter where you live you can still import stuff from all over the world it ain't matter no more people who buy from sheen people who buy on tenmu people who buy on alibaba aliexpress you know you buy things from china and get them within a few weeks so place of residence d 35 which of the following is not a major function of a retailer and the best answer is d transporting goods to suitable storage facilities that's more the job of a wholesaler how we are housing and those kind of things the retailer trying not to store too many things at one time number 36 a global positioning system or gps provides b satellite tracking services that can be used in commercial and personal applications 37 in a business logistics is defined as c managing resources from the point of acquisition storage and transportation to their final destination to so think about services offered by fedex and ups and those things where you place an order and they pick it up so they acquire it they put it in a warehouse overnight or wherever transport it to the final destination whatever address you choose to have it shipped to 38 which of the following documents issued by a carrier or his agent shows ownership of imported goods and so the best answer is a the bill of lading right so when you when you import something let's say on a, on, a, on a boat you get those documents but before you pay to get those documents they're basically the ownership of the company until you pay for those documents then the ownership becomes yours so it's a the bill of lading 39 which of the following is a final step in a supply chain operation and so the best answer here is d delivering the finished product from point of origin to point of destination number 40 jb auto company decided to export car engines from barbados to trinidad which of the following methods is best suited for transporting the engines so again this one is a, is a is a returning favorite the answer is b c right because it's from barbados to trinidad and we know here for something so heavy is not really cost effective there are no railroads between trinidad and and and, and, and barbados there are no roads between trinidad and barbados so those are not even a factor all right 41 which of the following entities can have their shares traded on the stock exchange and so we have b public limited companies they can share, trade their stocks on the public stock exchange number 42 a debenture holder is one who d is entitled to a fixed rate of interest whether or not the company makes a profit so what i'm saying is that i helps you to start your business so you use debt to start your business and you're still gonna pay me at a certain interest rate at a certain time it was never hinged on whether the company made a profit or not you owe me so you pay me when the money comes due number 43 the stock market is associated with the best answer is b risk and benefits the stock market is very risky but if your risk pay off it can be very very beneficial very rewarding number 44 mrs jones has several bills of fixed amount to pay each month she made an arrangement with her bank to make these monthly payments from her account this service provided by the bank is referred to as c a standing order number 45 mia would like to protect her passport birth certificate and jewelry which of the following commercial bank services should she use and the best answer is b safety deposit box 
We know you can't be online banking because you can store your stuff online. They are hard. They are hard. They are not soft copies. Uh, night safe facilities normally for businesses to store the money they made during the night. Kate in the, in, in the facility too. And when they reopen the next day, they can go back for the, the float and stuff like that. And we know we can't deposit jewelry or those things at the ATM. So, 46. Investment can be defined as C. Addition to the capital stock of a country. So additional addition to the capital stock meaning you're in you're taking money and you're building out some you're carrying out some capital project and so that would pay dividends later on you'll get the rewards later on remember investment is spending money now for rewards later on 47 the provision of social services by a government does not include a tax refunds that's not a part of the social services Provided by governments. Health clinics, of course. Education, yes. Transportation, yes. Number 48. The success of a government's economic policies can most be effectively measured by B, an increase in the standard of living. Because, I mean, what is the point of having government policies if they're not to improve the livelihood, the standard of living of people in the country? Right? What's the point of that? So the answer is B. 49. The central bank is owned and controlled by the government for the most part. America is, 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 is private, but in the Caribbean, it's the government. 50. Which of the following statements accurately describe taxation as a means of redistributing incomes? And the best answer is D. Higher income earners are taxed at a higher rate so as to provide benefits to lower income earners because you would take these monies in t taxes, the government, and provide, you know, low income housing provide school meals provide you know training those kind of things that lower income earners cannot really afford 51 the government offer subsidies to businesses to the answer is b reduce costs and ultimately prices so a subsidy is where the government assists businesses to lower their production costs for example if something costs five dollars to produce the government might say okay we'll take we'll pay Two and you pay the other three. So real and truly cost it us three. It may be in the form of tax breaks or the form of cheaper inputs because the government reduced the price, things like that. 52. Which of the following measures could be used to protect the environment? So we have recycling, deforestation, water conservation. So the best answer is B, one and three, because we know deforestation is the cutting down of trees, and that's not good for the environment. 53. A price control may be defined as a D. Government limit on the price of goods or services. Clear and clear as day. 54. Which of the following taxes could be classified as indirect, which means it does not come directly from your paycheck? And the best answer is C. Value added tax, because that's a consumption tax. You only pay that when you choose to buy something. So it's indirect. It's not direct like your 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 levy and those things that comes straight out of your income 55 which of the following when increased would not contribute to the improvement to, to the improved standard of living of a country so it is a when increase so the answer is c a country's population so if you increase a country's population that is not that more than likely not gonna lead to improved standard of living because you have more people competing for the same resources and that might be bad look at china look at india because they are so big that they have a lot of poverty over there and stuff like that right so the best answer is c a country's population 56 one economic solution to unemployment in the caribbean is to d encourage industrialization so encourage countries to start manufacturing more things to open up more jobs export make more money those kind of things 57 Computer aided design or CAD can be advantageous to a production. How? Because you can use a computer to see how something can be made. You can render it. You can manipulate it within a software instead of having to produce it and break it down, produce it, waste money and resources. Right? So the answer is a production. 58. Which of the following is a benefit of CSME, single market and Caribbean single market and economy? A. A, car, a common trade policy. That's the best answer, common trade policy, because, I mean, 
CSME does not lead to reduced cost of housing because <laughs> quite the opposite. When persons coming into the country to live, you see rent skyrocketing because more and more people there. Uh, see reduced cost of air travel. Where we all know what's going on right now with air travel in the Caribbean. It's expensive, it's cumbersome, it's annoying. Liat ain't really functioning as it used to. Into Caribbean, kind of messy, so we know how that goes. And the more equitable distribution of income, not necessarily. Okay, so the best answer is A, common trade policy. Number 59, the penultimate question. Which of the following practices would contribute to the economic growth and development of a country? The best answer is D, provision of loans and technical assistance for establishing local businesses. Of course, if you foster the entrepreneurship in the country, that can lead to economic growth as, you know, output increase, more people get employed, things like that. Number 60, the last one, the buying and selling of goods and services among countries is called, an easy one, B, international trade. All right, so that's it for the May-June 2022 POB Paper 1. All right, so you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the content as exams are getting closer and closer. And of course, stay tuned for more on Learn SKN. And of course, don't forget to check out Learn SKN's YouTube channel. Look at the rest. You have playlists where we have paper ones, paper twos, lecture notes, those kind of things. So check them out and share the content, of course. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more.